The difference from calculation calculates the difference of one item from another item. So what we're going to do here is get our months and see the difference between one month and its previous month. And we're going to also do another calculation where we see the difference between one month and the corresponding month from the previous year. So let's click on our pivot table and we'll go into our sales and drop it into our values area. And from the drop down arrow, we choose value fuel settings and show values as, and the drop down arrow, we choose difference from. Our base field will be the sales month because we're comparing sales months and the base item will be previous. So the previous month. So the way to read this is the difference from the previous sales month. Now let's change the name here to call it diff from previous month and press OK. In our pivot table, we have the difference from the previous month. So the 96,000 is the difference between January and February. And then you see from February to March, we have a drop of 83,000. Now let's format the numbers here. So we can right click and number format. We can go to number no decimal places, a thousand separator, and then we'll put in the red for any negative values. It just stands out better. You can see that. That's much better. Now let's do our another calculation. We'll put in our sales and we'll get the difference from the previous year. So again, the drop down arrow, show value as, choose difference from, and now we're going to get the financial year and previous. So we're going to get the difference from the previous financial year and press OK. And in here again we can format the numbers. So what it says here is comparing January 2013 with January 2012. So the difference is 100,000 increment. And then it's getting February 2013 and comparing it to February 2012, and that's a $42,000 increment. As you can see in 2012, it's all blank because there's no sales in 2011. So it starts in 2013, and then in 2014, it compares the January 2014 amount to the January 2013 amount. Okay, let's go into our second pivot table example. And now we have our sales person on our row labels and our years. So what we want to do now is compare our sales to one sales person. So we're going to compare Homer Simpson. So to do that, we'll grab the sales, drop it into our values area, drop down box, value for settings, show values as, then choose difference from and we choose a salesperson and our salesperson will be Homer Simpson. So we're going to see the difference that each salesperson has on Homer Simpson and press OK. And let's format the numbers and press OK. So what it says here is that in right in 2012 had 26,000 dollars more sales than Homer Simpson. John Michaelides had 80,000 less sales than Homer Simpson and Michael Jackson had 148,000 less sales than Homer Simpson. So the same thing in 2013, it's comparing in right 2013 to Homer Simpson 2013, John Michaelides 2013 to Homer Simpson 2013 and Michael Jackson. 2013 to Homer Simpson 2013. And the same thing for 2014. G'day, it's John Michaelis here, the Chief Inspirational Officer and Founder at MyExcelOnline.com. And I hope that you enjoyed this video that we just showed you. If you did, 
then give it a thumbs up. It just lets us know to create more of the same Excel videos for you so you can get better at Excel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get new Excel videos each and every week. And finally, we want you to join our flagship online Excel course. It's called the My Excel Online Academy. And you get all of our Excel courses. You get our Excel Beginner, Intermediate, and Advanced courses. We go through over 500 Excel videos, which teach you formulas, macros, VBA, pivot tables, Power BI, Power Query, Power Pivot, charts, formatting, access, and much more because we add new videos each and every month. You also can download all our Excel workbooks and keep so you can practice. And you also get a certificate of course completion. Plus, you're going to get six bonuses when you sign up to our academy course. You get our dedicated teacher support. You get access to all our Excel webinars. You get quarterly live Q&As. You can join our private Facebook group. You also join our private Excel forum. And we're also going to mail out to you an exclusive academy welcome pack. So if you want to get better at Excel and stand out from your peers and stand out from the crowd so you can get noticed by top management and receive the promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then click below in the description and join the My Excel Academy online course so you can get better at Excel today.